What's going on, y'all? This will be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Friday morning, and I intend on doing the exact same. But before we get into what we're here to talk about, let's Let's get into what we need for you guys to do, which is to show support for everybody that's on the screen. There's Scotty by Nature TV, Jamar 84, Bundy Blue, House of Aaron, Ondario, and the Chasing Reality brand. All of us are nominated for Boss Baby Awards this year. Be sure to vote for all of us in each one of our categories. Voting started on, on February the 1st and voting ends on March the 1st. So make sure you guys are voting, 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 voting. Get your votes in before it's too late. All right. The, um, the link to the boss babe awards and stuff will be in the description box right underneath all of my social media handles so that's pretty much all that we got for that so let's go ahead and get into what we're here to talk about for today and that is Porsche and Simon Gobadia now baby I just got up like I really just woke up like 10 minutes ago and my phone somebody sent me this and baby it is about Portia and Simon Gobadia now we already know what happened with them, but we do know that last week Simon was exposed for being a fraud, right? And on top of that, the week before that, Portia revealed that she would be coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 16. Well, not only that, the 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 um the the truth just keeps on coming out. First, we hear about Portia coming back to the show, then the next week we hear about Simon and his fraud, and now we're hearing that Portia has went and filed for a damn divorce. That is so many things happening at one time, and it lets me know that this season is probably going to be worthwhile. Now, this is coming from Hollywood Unlocked, and it says, Say what? Portia Williams files for divorce from Simon Gobadia after 15 months of marriage. Now, here's some shocking news to start your Friday morning. Portia Williams has reportedly filed for divorce from her husband, Simon Gobadia, after 15 months of marriage. The news of their split has shocked fans and followers as the couple has tied the knot in a lavish ceremony just over a year ago. According to court documents obtained by People, the Real Housewives star filed for divorce from Gobadia in Atlanta, making the end of their whirlwind romance. The couple's relationship has been the topic of discussion in the media with rumors swirling about Gobadia's citizenship status. However, a source close to the couple has clarified that the divorce is not related to those recent allegations. The reason behind the split remains undisclosed with an insider describing it as an ongoing matter. Williams, who's age 42, and Gobadia, who's age 59, exchange vows in a Nigerian traditional native law and custom, cer custom ceremony, followed by an American ceremony in Atlanta on November, the 20, uh, on November of 2022. Their quick engagement after just one month of dating has raised eyebrows, but the couple seem deeply in love as evident from their social media posts. The big news comes just days after Portia announced her return for the upcoming 16th season of the Bravo series, adding another layer to her intrigue, to intrigue of her personal life. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, there it is. There's Portia Williams files for a divorce from Simon Gobadi after 15 months mm -hmm. of marriage, and there's pictures of them. Now, it's so crazy to me how soon after she announces that she's coming back on the show, all this stuff comes out, and it's like, what is really going on? Like, did she already know that she was finna file for divorce, and that's the reason why she came back? Because you guys know that once it came out that she was engaged to this man, she no longer wanted to do this. The show she wanted to keep her marriage intact and wanted to keep everybody out of her business which ain't nothing really wrong with that honey but all i'm saying is baby this is something else i you know like it's crazy how everything happens so fast like she will have you know her engagement and her marriage happen fast so this 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 might as well happen fast too i guess but the thing of it is <clears throat> i said this early on in the video but it's just so crazy to me how you know she announced that she was coming back on the show and everybody was very excited about it. But then the very next week, the stuff about her husband came out. And then not only did that come out, but, you know, it's just like, OK, so, you know, what's the tea? Like, what's really going on with them? You know what I mean? Like, because it's because they said that her divorce is not even about what Simon actually did with said situation with the fraud stuff so it must be some stuff that had been going on 
Or I don't know, maybe she was finding out the stuff about the fraud stuff long before the rest of us did. And and she probably just didn't want to be no part of it. She's probably trying to protect herself and everything that's going on with this or whatever, because it just seems so sudden. And I had just, you know, for a long time, you know, I've been dissing Portia for a very long time. Everybody knows that she ain't really been my favorite person on this show since the candy stuff happened. And I've been on her neck ever since then. But then, you know, I kind of laid off of her ass. Um, and it just came across like she was so happy with Simon. Like she finally found the man that she really wanted to be with or the man that was really going to do her right in a sense. But I mean, are we really surprised? I mean, look at everything that ha that went down with, you know, Fallon and stuff like that. So if it is, if it's not just the fraud stuff, even though they're saying that it has nothing to do with the fraud allegations against him, I'm inquired to believe that it does have a lot to do with that. I really feel like it does. But it could be other things that happen. You know, Simon ain't no crystal stare and Fallon already told us that already. So it's just like, what's really going on? So ain't nobody came out and said nothing. Simon ain't said nothing. And Portia ain't said nothing. People <clears throat> are the ones that's reporting everything right now. But I won't be surprised if Simon comes out the same way that he did when Fallon, you know, when him and Fallon had filed for a divorce. You know, I won't be surprised if he comes out and, you know, comes out and tell his story like he's surviving R. Kelly or some shit like that because you know that he is down to get on Instagram live and tell everything because he's done it before. But I'm inquired, I'm inquired to know what happened, why are we in this situation, and what is really going on because this is something else. Like, I'm sure that we're going to get more news on this, and whenever we do get more news on this, I will definitely come back and um, talk about it. I might go live again later on today, but baby, I was getting ready for work. Like I just woke up and it's time for me to get ready for work and, and stuff, child. But let me go on and get up off of here. And um, I'm going to let you guys talk down below in the comment section or whatnot. But with that being said, y'all, mm -hmm. that's pretty much all that we got. So with that being said, be sure to... Um, Purchase and stream Bando's new record DUI. It's available for, for purchase and streaming on all social media platforms or all platforms where you can stream and purchase a song. So make sure you guys go and type in Bando Kane DUI and there it is. All right. So with that being said, y'all, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, um, my Twitter, Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys up out of here. And until my next video, I will holler at you guys a little bit later. Bye, y'all.